Hello, this book is called Complex Analysis. It's part of the International Series in Pure and Applied Mathematics. And it's by Alfors, McGraw-Hill. An Introduction to the Theory of Analytic Functions of Long Complex Variables, Lars V. Alfors, Professor of Mathematics, Harvard University, 1953, the memory of Ernst Lindelof. Let's see what it says here. The American universities, in American universities, a course covering roughly the material in this book is ordinarily given in the first graduate year. The way of presenting the material differs widely. In some schools, the emphasis is on teaching a certain indispensable amount of classical function theory and others to confront the student for the first time with mathematical rigor. At Harvard, for instance, the course is also traditionally used to re review advanced calculus with complete rigor in view. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. So here are the topics that you would find in this book. So complex numbers. Okay, spend some time there. And then uh, complex functions. So you can see some more of the topics there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the page now so you can see the rest. We have uh, complex integration. Lots of topics there. And then infinite sequences. Power series, partial fractions and factorization normal families, and then we have the Dirichlet problem. And then we have at the end, multi-valued functions and an index, and an index. So uh, this has a lot of mathematics that you could see and probably would see and for sure would see uh, if you took uh, an undergraduate course in complex variables. However, this has more than that. I feel like um, this is pretty rigorous. This has a lot in it that you might not see in a course. I mean, it's got a lot of topics, right? You normally wouldn't cover everything in, uh, in an undergraduate course. You know, you would definitely do, um, you know, a lot of the stuff here at the beginning in Chapter 2 on complex functions, definitely the stuff in Chapter 1, uh, and then some stuff in Chapter 3, uh, some stuff in Chapter... Um, Four on infinite sequences, and you probably would do maybe just a few things here in chapter five and six, maybe maybe nothing at all, actually. So you would just touch on specific things, I think, from those first four chapters, if you took like an undergraduate course in complex variables. So this is certainly a step up from that, um, in, compared in rigor, if you look at this book and compare it to others. But yeah, it's a, a famous book. I um, just want to show it to you here. It's Complex Analysis by Alphors.